Welcome to day two of Horizons 2010. Um, I'm lucky enough now to be joined by Henry Hartvelt, Vice President of Forrester Research. Henry, many thanks for joining us. My pleasure. What have you found so far in terms of the kind of things that people are discussing, the debates that are going on at Horizons? Is there anything that's piqued your interest in particular? Yeah, it's been a very good conference with people from more than 220 airlines here. You're having a lot of spirited debates. Uh, Qantas's Airport of the Future really took the audience by storm. Uh, what American Airlines is doing with mobile, in particular location-based uh, technology, got people talking. Air Canada, uh, ancillary services, uh, the role of agencies in the distribution uh, channel. There's a lot of rich, relevant content that's been here. Uh, and it's all been around innovation. No one's questioning the role of technology. There's spirited debate about uh, uh, how does mobile, for example, manifest itself? Will social media be mostly marketing or can it be turned into co something more commercial? Uh, where will we go with things like cloud computing and uh, uh, app internet and new types of open systems? But no one is questioning technology. Uh, it's just a matter of, I think, synthesizing this and trying to figure out how do you make this all relevant to your airline uh, based on the type of carrier you are the people you serve and where you operate in the world. Uh, I think that people here are very optimistic. Um, uh, I think that they are very sensitive that we're, aware, we're, we're in a still unstable economy, uh, but no one here is saying we, we can afford to ignore, ignore technology. What everyone is saying is I just need to figure out where to make my investments, why I should be making my investments, and how much to invest in all of this. So this morning, Henry, you're part of a think tank looking to the future, looking for new developments. Um, how and to what extent is the, is the customer, the consumer landscape changing? Well, uh, that's a really good question because the, con the consumer landscape is going to change enormously. In developed markets like the United States, Canada and Western Europe, 2010 marks the first year where a baby boomer will turn 65. So over the next several decades, we're going to have a generation of customers, maybe a generation and a half, going into an age of retirement or semi-retirement where they'll have more time than money to travel. So that's going to have a profound impact. At the same time, forecasts by Airbus and Boeing show that the growth of this industry will be greatest in emerging markets, including Africa, the Gulf region, parts of Asia and parts of Latin America. The future of, of the airline industry is with uh, uh, parts of the world and people of the world who are, if you will, late adopters of air transportation, whereas those countries that in a way created uh, aviation altogether are going to be going into a, a different part of their, of their lifespans. And so the roles are going to change. It's going to be fascinating to see. What's also interesting is with consumers, what our research at Forrester shows, no matter where in the world they are, each generation of consumers is successively more engaged and more accepting of technology. So you have children who are learning now through uh, computers and tablet computers. Uh, you have parts of the world where their embrace of the internet comes through mobile devices and where they're paying for goods and services through their mobiles because they don't have bank accounts. Mm -hmm. So if you're an airline or a travel agency, that's going to change the way you do business in many ways, fundamental and, and beyond. Uh, it is, uh, I think you know, we've always lived in interesting times. I think that the, the future is, is going to be so exciting, but also um, uh, so very different from the, the years that we've had behind us. Social media, Henry, mm -hmm. one of those themes that is, is flavor of the month, flavor of the year. It's something that people, are, they just can't stop talking about it. How far, to what extent, is that going to continue to change our lives moving forwards? Dan, it is not a flavor of the moment. It is not a flavor of the year. Okay, uh, uh, social media is real. We've always been engaged in social behavior. Now we have these platforms that allow us to share our thoughts and opinions and activities, our pictures, uh, our lives with hundreds, potentially thousands of others. Uh, it is very real. In the US and in Europe, more than seven in 10 travelers participate to some degree in social media. Wow. More than 50 million people in the U.S. have regular conversations weekly or more frequently about 
anything through social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook. Travel is a big part of this. It, your brand manager is not the person sitting in the office or cubicle in, within your marketing department. The consumer is your brand manager. He or she is planning their trip in a social way, sharing their opinions of a destination, an airline, an event in a social way. But to what extent, Henry, is the industry set up to really, to really take advantage of that, to manage it effectively, to actually bear the fruits of, of what you're saying? Well, you know, we're in the early stage. I mean, it's a very good question. There are companies out there that are certainly creating tools that allow you to listen to the conversations and analyze it and determine what's being said. Right. You have uh, some airlines that are doing a phenomenal job job with social media. You have to only look to the uh, earlier part of 2010 when the ash cloud crisis hit Europe. Airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, EasyJet, Air France, KLM, uh, and others uh, did a super job of using Facebook and Twitter uh, to communicate. Eurocontrol went on to Twitter to communicate uh, status updates. Um, are they doing as good a job as they could? No, but this is new. What's important to understand uh, is that what we see in social media now is the baby in the diaper in the nursery at right. the hospital. It has just been born. We as business people, as marketers, as operations people are just trying to figure out what this means for us. It will change in a year. It will be different three years from that. It will be different 10 years from now. So with that in mind, how easy is it to predict how we're going to continue to, to interact and evolve with all the different channels, the types of applications, the, 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 the things that, that we use to, to, to interact and to talk. How far can we, can we actually get hold of that? Well, you know, if you think about this, the advent of mobile technology will have a huge factor. Internet access from these devices, internet access from airplanes uh, will have huge impact. Airlines, travel agencies, for that matter, the entire travel industry, has to take a look at how they're organized, who in their organization, because it's not just marketing, it's not just e-commerce, will be responsible for different parts of uh, uh, the social media uh, inputs and outputs that the company is doing. Who's monitoring what's being said? Who's sharing it? How are they changing? How are they reacting? What information do they share? Uh, what offers do they put out there? And so on. Uh, uh, whether Facebook makes it or not, whether Twitter or MySpace uh, or blogs make it in 10 years is anyone's guess. But social media will only grow and it will only become more important. There is a natural plateau, but remember as older travelers stop becoming travelers, you will see actually the proportion of people who travel and participate in social media grow because you will have everybody doing this. I think what's important for airlines in 2010 is to do brainstorming. So let's say it is 2020 and everybody on the planet has social media. How do we respond? How do we extend offers to it? How do you use this as a marketing channel so you're generating revenue from this? And how are you using it to measure and act on customer satisfaction, operational issues, e-commerce performance. Uh, Virgin America spoke today about how they will learn, even a problem with their website might happen, and they learn about that from a customer trying to use this uh, before they get the alerts from their uh, server provider. Well, from their, you know, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, Porter Gale said it helps the company recover quicker from an error and continue to make money. So social media wears many hats and it's, it's going to become more important, more pervasive, more immediate, and much more individual. Henry, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. My pleasure.